Are you done? Who won, Toki? Did Dante win? Who won? Where are you going? Who won? Who won the fight? Who won? Who won? Who won? Will you? You gonna let him win? You gonna let him win? Who won? Who won? Who won? Who won? <laughs> Mommy has to go to work. I have to get ready for work. Dante is at the end of the fight. Mommy has to go take a shower. I have to go to work. Do you want to go to work? I'll stay home. You go to work. I don't want to go. Do you guys want to make money? I'll stay home. Okay. Okay. Fight is over. Hey, baby. What are you doing? What are you up to? gets in bed from this side and I have to help him in bed. Come on. Do you want to get in bed? Do you want to get in bed? Mommy help you. Come on. Mommy help you. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, guess not. Go play. Go play. Bye bye. Go play. Besides being a mother of dogs, I also have a betta fish. Now, my betta fish right now is in a vase. Do not keep a betta fish in vases. They are not meant to be in small containers. Even though pet stores sell them in tiny containers and advertise you can keep them in these things, they are not meant to be kept in small containers. They need lots and lots of water. He is in the small container because I woke up the other morning and my fish tank was leaking all over my house. So I had to get a new fish tank. My 10 gallon fish tank is right here. My husband set it up for me. I can't take any credit. And the reason why the fish is in the vase and not the tank right now is you can't just put a fish in new water. You have to let it sit and filter and you have to make sure that bacteria is not going to bloom inside the water. I actually lost my last betta fish to this. So I got home from work today and the water looks perfectly clear. I don't see any evidence of bacteria. I also tested the water. Everything came out perfect. To me, the water seems great. I don't see any problem with putting the fish in there. The water is 80 degrees. 
this water was 71 degrees. I added some of the tank water in there and he should be good to go. I'm gonna put him in the tank right now. He is not happy in this little container. He looks terrible. He normally is much more colorful, active. I feel bad keeping him in here. Like I said, guys, if you have a beta fish, please, please, please don't keep them in this little container. By the way, his name is Stabby. I love him very much. He's my little Stabby guy. Hey, Stabby. Let's see if he'll eat a piece of food. I just fed him. Maybe he'll eat one more. Hi. Stabby. Here we go. Yeah, good boy. Nice Stabby. Good boy. And of course, where there is fish, there are dogs. Hi, babies. Hi. Shall we put Stabby back in his home? What do you think of your baby fish? Do you want him? Do you want to see him? Ah, Stabby. He's a good boy. Yeah, let's put him back in his house, okay? Hi, Fluffy. You ready to put him back? Here he is, Stabby, back home, stabbing away. He looks very happy. Hi, Stabby. Yep, see, all this room for him to swim. Not in a little tiny vase, meant for flowers. Right, baby? We have to be nice to fishies. Hey, Fluffy. Have to be nice and fishies. Aw, look at him. He's so cute. Such a good boy. He's probably a little stressed out. Well, I hope he's okay. It's always scary, um, you know, changing out their water because you're not supposed to do a total water change. So I hope he's okay. I'll be thinking about him and checking on him. I forgot to mention that I got this fish from Thailand. I ordered him online and he came in the mail. Don't ask me why I did that. I thought that he would look extra cool because that's what was advertised. So I don't know, I can't really get the view from there. But do you guys think he looks extra cool? Was he worth ordering and being mailed to me? I think so, because he's cool just in general. Because he's stabby. Because he's my special boy. He was worth it just because he's my baby. 